Mother's Child. It was um, written by me some time ago and it's been illustrated by Kathy Fisher. And um, it is something different in being, um, it's a picture book for all ages. It's an adventure story in three chapters. Um, it has beautiful pages which are simply images to lose your soul in and then the story is given lots of space so it kind of welcomes in the reluctant reader um, somebody who might struggle to read um, and yet the language is you know it's not patronizing um, it's an exciting adventure story about a small boy who is born to um, a village really um, becomes lost um, and then found and then does something quite unexpected for reasons of his own um, he can actually communicate with animals he doesn't think there's anything unusual about this um, he just you know he thinks that his experience of life is how everybody else sees the world. Um, it's beautifully illustrated by Kathy Fisher. I love the end papers, the light in them. It's dark at the start, light at the end. And um, the cover has gorgeous green gold foiling on. Can you see that? Does that flash? really lovely so it, it's visually it's a treat and and what it's about is um it's set way back in history at a time when animals were being collected for um alexander the great for his zoo it's about how out of kilter we are as a species with the rest of the living creatures that share our planet um it's about having a better relationship with the wild than the one that we do. It um, leaves a, a lot of space for talking about um, how you make decisions about what you do, um, what, to do the right thing um, as you perceive it to be, and how sometimes um, you need to take action. Um, what else is it about? It, it was um, begun, the illustrations were begun during the time of COVID, during lockdown, when um, Kathy had come to the UK um, and was looking after my house and my animals while I was um, entangled in uh, family tragedies and um, then lockdown happened and she got stuck in my house. And what I like to say is that I wouldn't let her leave um, until she painted all the images for this book, but that's not true. She painted some of them um, here. She painted some in another house. She painted some on the other side of the world. So it's a book that's traveled all around the world. I just, I absolutely love the cover, which is designed by Alison O'Toole. Um, and oh, my favourite, my favourite painting in the whole book is, I'm going to show you this one, it's glorious in its colour and the colours on the panda and it's just beautiful. So something quite different, a picture book in three chapters. I don't, I've never seen one before, I've never seen a chapter picture book. Um, and I hope you like it. It's published by Otterberry Books and it's published in October, I think, in the UK.